Let's start learning how to make more complex components. In this case, we're going to learn how to create a scroll panel, which actually is what you could consider a compound component, meaning that it requires other components to be created beforehand. Here's, uh, here's an example website where we have this piece of text here. The text actually overflows beyond this particular point. So we want to create a scroll bar that will allow us to scroll this particular text. In Flash Catalyst, that's known as a scroll panel. If I look at the scroll bar over here, this is just a vector object. It actually just is not yet a component. So we need to actually convert this into a scroll bar in order, in order to build the scroll panel. So that what we need to do is select the various objects of the, uh, of the scroll bar graphic here. So I'm going to select each individual graphic. And then with all four of these items selected, I'm going to convert all these items into a single component. In this case, it's going to be a vertical scroll bar. When I do this, it's going to take all those different objects and wrap them into a component. You'll see, though, at the top that there are additional steps that we have to complete in order to, complete, uh, in order to finish converting this into a scroll bar. We can click the Edit Parts button, and it will take us into the component itself. Now, with a scroll bar, there are lots of different pieces that are required in order for a scroll bar to really work. Flash Callus needs to know what graphics we want to associate with different behaviors of a scroll bar. So let's actually select this item at the top, which is the, uh, the up arrow. When you select an object inside the, inside the component, you'll see that it says convert to vertical scroll bar part. This is where we tell Catalyst what we want this particular graphic to mean inside of the scroll bar. When we open this, you'll see that there are a number of options here. Two of them are required, the thumb and track. But the up button is also available here. If we click this, this will then convert that and associate that as the up button part of the scroll bar itself. Let's go down and do the bottom one as well. We can then change this to the down button. So now I've created the up and down buttons, but now we need to do what's known as the track and the thumb. The track represents the background of where the thumb is actually going to, is go going to move up and down for a vertical scroll bar or left or right for a horizontal scroll bar. We can then set this to be the actual track of the scroll bar. And then the last and final piece is the thumb. This is the piece that you click and drag in the scroll bar. So we can then convert this into the thumb. There. With that completed, you'll see that the notification at the top of the HUD disappears, showing that the scroll bar is, is now complete. So let's now go back out to the top level of our application here, and then build our scroll panel. This particular component is a scroll bar, but it has nothing to really control. So let's, in, in addition to that, select the actual text here on the, to the left of that, and then create our outer component, or in this case, the scroll panel. When we set this, it's going to take the scroll bar and the text and bring that into this, this, this intelligent component known as a scroll panel. If I click Edit Parts here, it's going to ask us to, to to select what is the actual object we want to scroll. If I select the object here, I can then say choose part scrolling content. You might ask yourself, why would I have to define this? Well, if I have a background graphic that's going to be behind this, I actually don't want to scroll that. I just want to scroll the text. And Flash Callus needs to know specifically from us what we need to, what we need to tell it to scroll. So I'm going to select scrolling content. So there, as you can see, I now have this mask that's associated here, which shows the bounds of the scrolling area. The text would then go beyond this. Let's actually go into a published project to show you how this works. So as you can see, we have the same design here, and I have the scroll bar bill over here on the right-hand side. I can press the up or down buttons, and then I can also click and drag this to actually control the scroll bar itself. As you can see, the text on the, on, on the left-hand side of the scroll bar is now scrolling based on how I interact with the scroll bar. So that's an overview of how you can create a more complex component, in this case, a scroll panel that's using a vertical scroll bar.